Here's my program doing a graph of Z of T. The sign can't give us a super path of Z T. At the bottom of the screen we've got numbers scrolling past the graph and where each ground point is. The good ground points, which are most of them, are marked from the vertical lines. And as you go further up the line, the ground points get close together. And there was a violation of Graham's law. Ground point 211. Okay, so a good ground point is one where the sign of Z of T is... Oh, this is okay, the end ground point is G, so it's N, the sign of Z of G, so it's N, should be minus 1 to the N. Or is it minus 1 to the N, minus 1? There then. Okay, let's go see how it's doing. As you can see, I've only can film 29 seconds at a time at the moment because I've got no card for the bloody camera because I'm sick of putting these together. There we go, there's another bad ground point here. 289. Z that T should be positive but it's negative. Problem here, we'll get to see the zeros. There they go. The ones that's calculated just done with linear interpolation. And we've got, what have we got here? This program there, it's just a boring little thing, just moving along the graph. And uh, but here, the real thing that matters is the uh, Riemann's equal calculations, which we've done. Okay, so the Raymond Ziegel calculations are there, that was first done on Amiga Basic in about 1993 and then crossed the PC, so that's straight out of Edward, isn't it's boring. I've done all sorts of other programs relating to the Raymond Ziegel formula myself, recalculating the coefficients. That was all done about then, really. Yeah, that's the uh, picture from the and the matrix theory and Riemann zeta function conference that I've all fucking nearly thousand DMV seminars. And uh oh, so yeah, I was doing a pile of stuff programming to do with the zeta function. Running up to that including this, here we go, here with me learning about the Gaussian unit chance summer and all that stuff. It's uh oh it's this yeah. Histogram part of the distribution of the um, differences between unfolded zeros. Which, of course, well, this is not enough with the uh, famous meeting between Dyson and Montgomery in about 1970. Don't know about that properly, of course, you have to look in the good old book here. All that stuff with Visco's calculations and all that's all in there, isn't it? So, oh, I'm sick of this now. Put something more professional together. Sometime. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs>
right